Hey gamers, it's Brian Woods, and I'm, welcome back to Gamers Cube. I'm here to talk about the new DLC for Fire Emblem, Three Houses. It's called uh, Cindered Shadows or Abyss. It's always been kind of unclear to me. The only way to get this is through the $25 expansion pass, uh, which they released a while ago. And that's mostly just costumes, some like extra quests or whatever, and you know, one or two activities and you can pet a cat, and then this. Uh, and I'd say, it, you know, it took me like seven hours. I played on Classic. Uh, short of it, I think it is only worth it to you unless you're a super diehard fan or you plan on playing through another path in the game because once you finish it, you can actually recruit the four new characters, which are really good. And you can recruit them into your normal playthrough. Um, the new characters are good. You know, Balthus, he's fun. He's like the king of grappling. I like that as a name. And then there's Happy and she's weird. I like her attitude. Um, Yuri, he's like the leader or whatever. I really like him too. Uh, and then Constance, uh, she's like really happy. And then when she steps into the sun, she gets very sad. I thought that was a fun quirk. Um, they feel good. They're fully fleshed out characters. They have some supports with new people. Um, and I, so I do think it's worth it if you plan on playing through again and you have $25 burning in your pocket. But other than that, you know, it's fine. The gameplay is basically it's those four new characters, uh, Byleth, the protagonist, and then the three lords, so Claude, Dimitri, Edelgard, and then Lionheart, Hilda, and Ash. So those are the only units you get, and they don't earn skills, and they're all built in a specific way. So the units feel unique, and the maps sometimes feel built in a way where it's like playing to that, but not all the time. The maps are kind of just hard for no reason. There was one map I thought was like really funny. I, I feel like it's like one of those things where it's like the developers knew where every time you move one of your units, another enemy unit spawns like directly in front of you. And I thought that was like genuinely funny, uh, but I don't know. It was just hard for like uh, no, re it's really hard. And I think if you're looking for that, that's good, but in, you know, and it adds some new paralogs to the main game. So, like, I think it's probably just two paralogs. Um, well, three, because I think this DLC also adds Anna, uh, but she's not really a character. But it's three new paralogs, and those are kind of hard. And it's good that they're there. It builds on, like, the main game. Uh, the story, it's all right. It reveals some backstory that does not really go, that doesn't really get covered in the main game pathways. Uh you know, I enjoyed myself, but I don't know what $25 is to you. And I usually always go and do it like that. But this is one of those things where I'm like, I'm going to err on the side of caution. It's probably not worth the 25 for you. You know what I mean? I really enjoyed it. I enjoy having those characters in my new playthrough where I'm doing the Golden Deer. And, you know, big, big news. Big news for the fellas out there. So I'm going to go into a little rant. Zach, you can cut this later if it doesn't fit. Um, so basically in Fire Emblem, you're romancing characters or whatever. And you know, there's like five, there's five uh, female gay options, you know? And they're all pretty solid, you know? But then um, for the fellas out there, there's one, there's one gay, there's three gay options. One of which I'm like, he's kind of valid. And then there's two like middle-aged old men who are married to women. And then you marry, they, you give them a ring and they're like, man, we're, you're my best friend. <laughs> I'm like, man, the, the, the fellas kind of got shafted if they're wanting to marry a dude, that sucks. But then they patched in, um, they patched in a character into a playthrough I've already played through. So I'm never going to meet this guy. That sucks for me. But they patched him in for free. He can be gay. And then Yuri, he's also gay. And I think he's valid. Unlike the two the two uh, old dudes who are married and they say, you're my best friend after you give them a ring. <laughs> so that's good. I think it's good that that's in there. Uh, if you if you were really hung up on that part, there's now two valid options if you, if you wanted to marry a man as a man in that game. So congratulations. Let's hear it for the boys. That's it for today. I hope you go play some uh, cool anime video game. Uh, check out more of our content on this very YouTube channel and like, subscribe, and comment, and all that stuff. Hit the, ring the bell. Hit, hit the bell. <laughs> Be good, gamers. <laughs>